Hello friend, in this video we will see a topic that is break even analysis, most important topic of industrial economy in subject industrial engineering. Uh, a break even analysis is used to determine uh, how much sale volume your business or company need to start making a profit on the basis of um, quantity and cost. The break-even analysis is specially useful when you are developing a precising st strategy either as a part of marketing plan or business plan. In economy and business, especially cost accounting, the break-even point is the point at which cost or expenses and revenue are equal. There is no net loss or gain means no loss no profit that point indicate no loss no profit so total cost is equal to total revenue that is break even point so we will discuss this break even analysis on the basis or by using a break even graph this graph represent the relation between cost sale and profit uh, in this graph there are mainly uh, seven parameters such as first this horizontal line represent quantity which to be produced by a company and this vertical axis represent cost or revenue in terms of rupees next this parallel line with horizontal is called fixed line or cost line the line uh, we will discuss these terms or terminology one by one and third or oh sorry fourth line that is variable line always start above fixed line then next that is sale line start from origin and intersection of variable line and sale line called as a break even point then uh, angle between sale line and variable line this angle called as angle of incident and which is inversely proportional to break even point if the break even point inversely proportional means if break even point shifted towards left means indirectly this angle of incident increases so towards right side of break even point we consider as a profit and volume produce towards left side we consider as a loss in business so the small angle of incident means less profit with unfavorable situation the area of a left break even point represent loss of the firm and the right of break even point indicate the profit of firm and the sale volume more than if the sale volume more than break even point called as margin of safety or margin of safety is zero at break even point means this point indicate no loss no profit volume with respect to revenue generations then we will discuss the same terms uh, that is uh, if you uh, broadly classified cost that is first uh, variable cost and fixed cost so variable cost that depend upon uh, production level or output if your if your output is increases so ultimately um, your variable cost also increases so variable cost include that is uh, material uh, labor etc and fixed cost remain roughly same regardless with output means uh, whether output increase or decrease there is no effect on cost that cost called as a fixed cost uh, in that include uh, suppose maybe rent insurance and wages of permanent employee uh, next term that is a unit price the amount of money charge to customer for each unit of a product or services means indirectly 
product cost in market and total cost that is a summation of fixed cost and variable cost in nothing but total cost the then total variable cost uh, except unit sale expected unit sale and variable unit cost means for total variable cost we consider number of unit as well as variable unit cost next that is uh, total revenue generation so expected unit sale and unit price multiplied by unit price uh, and obviously profit lot loss uh, difference of total revenue generated and total expenditure or total cost used for making that product that is nothing but profit uh, for this break even analysis we assume certain things uh, first uh, actually this model based on quantity and cost means this is only two factor or two variables uh, on which we assume or we calculate or we do in certain analysis so first assumption that is uh, all element of cost that is production admission administration and selling distribution can be divided into fixed and variable components means all all type of cost broadly divided into only two means may that cost may be fixed or variable then uh, variable cost remain constant per unit output means uh, practically you can consider consider if uh, production is less then unit price of component or product should be higher and if uh, production may vary or increases so variable cost decreases but in this model we consider variable cost as well as fixed cost remain constant at all volume of output then selling price per unit remains unchanged or constant at all levels of output means if we consider um, quantity that is 1000 so first 100 unit also selling price same of uh, or if you want to uh, consider all 1000 then also selling price also same uh, these are the assumption and next volume of production is only factor that influence the cost means practically it is not possible that only volume can influence the cost but we assume or consider only cost parameters then there will be the no change in the general price level similarly there is one product and in case of multi product the sale remain constant means these are the broad assumptions for this model then use of break even point so by using this model or break even point uh, we can decide first that is uh, helping in deciding the minimum quantity of sale means uh, how much we will produce for no loss no profit uh, situation then help in the determination of tender price means if we want to uh, receive some order from any organization so or we put certain tender to grab that order so it is help to determine that product and unit price also then help in examining effect upon organization on profitability means how if uh, how much amount of quantity if we produce then uh, how profitability will be, will be affected then help in deciding amount the sus, uh, sorry substitution uh, substitution of new plants and next help in sale price and quantity then help to determine marginal cost margin means uh, that is profit then uh, this model having certain limitation uh, as i am already told that uh, this model based on only cost and volume there is a no other factor for consideration for calculating profit or loss so first that is a break even analysis is only a supply side that is cost only analysis 
then next obviously again uh, fixed cost remain constant we assume that fixed cost remain constant that is limitation then as well as variable cost also constant per unit output this is limitation then assumptions regarding uh, selling price then quantity of volume then if output changes the uh, selling price remain constant these are the uh, miss all uh, assumptions means near about all assumptions are we have limitations or because uh, that is decide on this part because practically it is not possible to uh, consider all values or all uh, uh, prices are constant means maybe fixed cost or maybe variable cost then for better explanation we consider one example so for to calculate a break even point uh, on the basis of fixed cost that is a total fixed cost upon uh, contribution margin per unit so how to calculate contribution margin per uh, per unit that is a contribution margin per unit can be found out by dedu deducting the average variable cost for the selling price so the formula will be break even point is equal to total fixed cost divided by selling price minus average variable cost so we consider suppose one example uh, suppose the fixed cost of factory is uh, 10000 rupees and the selling price of per unit that is 4 and average variable cost per product that is 2 rupees so the break even point according to above formula so we will calculate by above formula we will get 5000 units so break even point we will get 5000 unit means uh, on that unit we will not get any loss or profit this can be seen in the analysis so say that is a 5000 multiplied by 4 rupees per unit that is sale for 20,000 20, so cost of goods sold so variable cost according to 2 rupees and multiplied by 5000 that is 10,000 and remaining means 20,000 minus 10,000 equal to again 10 which consider as a fixed cost so total cost that is 20 and net profit is equal to 0 means manufacturing cost manufacturing cost that is fixed and variable 20,000 and sale 20,000 means we will get 0 profit then next example that is uh, for example if total revenue is 600 and total variable cost is 450 and total fixed cost is 150 then the contribution ratio is so contribution ratio 600 that is total revenue minus total variable cost upon total revenue so we will get 0 0.25 the contribution ratio is 0 0.25 then break even point on the basis of contribution ratio so total fixed cost upon contribution ratio is equal to that is uh, we have total fixed cost 150 and contribution ratio 0 0.25 so we will get 600 so the firm achieve its break even point its sale are 600 the revenue is 600 total cost 600 so ultimately profit or loss nil so hope so you will enjoy this video and if you like so please subscribe Thank you. That's it.